Governor, what have you done for the blacks in your state? Well, they came to my office in the beginning and said what they wanted done. I said, well, I'm not going to make any decisions based on black people or white people mm -hmm. or any other group. It's going to be based on what's best for this state. But we've had more of them to visit with us in the governor's office and the governor's mansion and in all the history of the state. We've employed more of them in responsible positions, placed mm -hmm. them on the selective service boards, on state constitutional boards, more than all the governors in the history of the state and they become a part of their government for the first time. Yeah, I was surprised. I, I did a lot of reading on you, and I found that you had appointed a, a great number of, of blacks to the uh, to More than all the governors in the history in. of the state, we've, mm -hmm. we do ours on the basis of who is best qualified, and it has nothing to do with their color. That's mm -hmm. the reason uh, I'm glad you've asked that question, because they've been all directed to Ninth Assembly at, at trying to, uh, in the other direction. But I think we ought to uh, talk about the positive things more in this country than what yeah. we're doing. I, I know that when you were elected, a lot of people were just horrified, and they said that people in Atlanta, some of them stayed home from work and all and didn't know quite what to do. And that then your administration has surprised a number of people in, in, one, in that sense that you have neither uh, been a, a segregationist's dream, nor, in one sense, I mean an extreme, extremist segregationist, nor uh, the, the liberals, darling, on the other hand, certainly. Well, we based uh, our did, decision on people. Did, did you have a kind state. of change of heart the government when you came into to office? All of them. None whatsoever. I've always based my decisions in, in business and in, in, in uh, steel mills and factories and plants, wherever I've worked all along. And mm. uh, the only people that were surprised, <clears throat> Dick, were those that had been misinformed. Mm. The people that knew Lester Maddox, the people I had been associated with and all my life knew that I would be fair and just to every citizen, regardless of whether he's from rural or black or white or urban. Rich or poor. Uh, and we've had more, like I say, we've <coughs> had more black and white people to visit with us there in the governor's mansion, the governor's office, than in all the history of the state, and even at this time. I know you're... We're having more black people to visit in the governor's mansion and the governor's mm -hmm. office than all the other 50 governor's offices in the United States, even at this time. Yeah, I hear the door is always open, which is rare in today's politics, and you do have people... Well, we try to run the governor's office like you run your own business, your own home. Mm -hmm. Did you have any we, problems we from the bigots in the South? Have any problems with us? From the white bigots, because you did so much for the black man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, uh, which white bigots? The black ones and white ones I have trouble with from time to no, time. No, I said white bigots. I have because, the black uh, races and the white races that create some problems. Did you have you any know? problems from the white races because you did so much for the black people? Uh, Mr. Brown asked you, Governor uh, Maddox, if you'd had any trouble from your white uh, admirers for the fact that you he have done some He didn't say admirers, for... sir. No, he said bigots. Well, why didn't you say it like he said? <laughs> you, you have why me did, there. Why, did, why didn't you say it? Now, see that what I'm talking about, Dick? I, I do see you it, You take yes. words there and twist them of... around and you mislead the people in the audience and all. You ought to start being honest, all of you, with your words and what you're saying to people. You said admirers and he said bigots. A lot of difference, isn't it? Yes, I feel like a bigger why you, person. Why do you now. want to mislead the people like that? <laughs> I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to mislead the people. It is a good question, though, isn't it? Uh, well, it, it, uh, it's, a, it's a good question, but for you to come back and call bigots my admirers is a farce. It's an it's a act of hypocrisy. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a terrible way to treat a guest on your show, and you know it. Huh? You know he's right about that. Why don't you apologize? Why don't you apologize to the people well, for calling people that are my admirers bigots? Now wait a minute, I'll take you half seriously on this. People, but I won't... We got over four million people in Georgia that are, are my friends, and I call admirers, and you calling them all bigots? No, I'm not. Now you apologize to them. No, I won't. All right. <laughs> uh, oh no, don't. Hey, please, please. No. Uh, you better apologize. Don't no. uh, sit down. I'll explain it. <laughs> let me see. I'll answer his question when you apologize to people. Let, let me see if I can focus in on that. If, in fact, I have I called... got friends that are black and white and admirers, and they're none of them bigots. May I now answer? Yes, sir. If I called any of your admirers bigots, who are not bigots, I apologize. <laughs> Now let the governor answer. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't accept that on representing the people of Georgia under any circumstance. You're saying that some of them are bigots. 
If well, you can't be fair, if you can't no, be decent, I, 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 you don't belong on television. I don't belong here with you. I hope you'll stay. I, I don't, uh, I, I know there are white bigots well, why don't and there you apologize are black to people of Georgia, and... those friends of mine, for calling them bigots? I think I may. Now, either you do it, I'm going to leave now, Dick. Which, which, which one are you going to Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please don't leave. Well, you I, I'd like to ask people of Georgia. <laughs> And he owes them an apology, too. The only biggest that I'm... Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. You, wait, you well, wait a minute. Well, no, think... you wait, no, well, you, well, you wait a minute. Well, I... You wait a minute. The only biggest that ever I've been involved with came out of New York New Jersey. The white ones that came from New York New Jersey came down there and tried to destroy the South and tell the lies about what's going on in our part of the country, which is one of the leading parts of the country, <laughs> moving mm. forward in all areas today. Uh-huh. Governor. And the only biggest I've ever had to come in there were the white ones that came from your city and from New Jersey to try to wreck the storm. Now, Dick, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one minute to apologize to the people you call biggest in Georgia. I'm gonna leave your show. Now you do whatever you want to about it. Oh, wait a minute, what are the what are the terms? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got one minute to tell them that that, that you don't call any Georgian a biggest. How much time do I have? Right. Please. Governor, I, I find you most interesting. You, you, um, you're, you're, you're a most interesting man. There's something likable about you at your most outrageous moments. And uh, what do you mean outrageous moments? It, I honestly don't know how seriously to take you at now, this moment you talking because about I don't outrageous think moments? I don't think I have consciously offended anyone, uh, and I didn't mean to. And if I have. A, unconsciously offended anyone, then there's no need to apologize because it was an accident. Well, tell him that you've made a mistake then. I would say that I phrased the question in a way that was not exactly accurate in the sense that he did say bigots. Have any white bigots been upset because you have done certain things but for the blacks? But you came back and said my admirers. And you haven't apologized yet and you got 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, now let me use those 15 seconds. I apologize for suggesting that a bigot would be the way of characterizing all of your admirers. No, good night. Wait a minute, wait a minute, there's more time. Good night, sir. <laughs> the, um... I'm sorry the governor left. He may be back after this message. We will. <laughs>